Until Gibbs, man, just throw that joint away. Yeah, I hit the button. Let's talk to some people. They say Simba might know him from around the way. Because I don't know who he was until he was beefing with you. I don't even know how he, he wasn't here. He was beefing with me. I wasn't beefing with him. I don't know him. I told him that. I said, bro, I don't even know you. When I'm talking about Glizzy Gang, I ain't talking about you. I don't even know you for being in Glizzy Gang. Bro, get your man, though, bro. And shout all you had to do was, like, get your man. Like, you keep letting your man talk all this shit down. That ain't your man, though. Like, Tyler, man, Glizzy, you taking on all the parties. You and your man, Tally. You just was out Cali. I bet you just was out the DR. Like, I missed my man when he got locked up. All this. Like, you changed fast this shit, though, bro. Like, what happened to that? Where's that energy? Where's his lawyer money? The fuck? These niggas melting down gold bars and shit, you going ball? The fuck is going on? The Glizzy gang was melting down fucking gold bars, allegedly. The fuck? Shot Glizzy, you was, man. What was the Catch That Kid? Yeah, Catch That Disney Channel ass movie. They was playing Catch That Kid. Them niggas was melting down gold bars. That shit was on the next level shit. And. They must want to give him a shot. Shit, his career flopped. Imagine you got to go melt down some gold bars because your motherfucking CEO broke his shit. They was doing that motherfucker, though. I must tell y'all, Taliban was ten, a thousand times, no, I can say, smarter than me because he not melt down jury, but dumb as shit on the business side. Loose as shit, stupid as shit. America's dumb as criminal, but smart at the same time. America's smart as hood, nigga, but America's dumb as criminal. Because I used to dream about shit. Imagine getting a jury store, you melt that shit down and turn that shit, and they make it, hey, bro, they on million dollar lakes and shit, though, like, for real. Like, nah, for real, though, like, shit was crazy. That little bitch, I see how he got seven from Bad Girl Club. I see how they was living on the 15th floor. It makes sense now. It all makes sense now. That bitch was a sneaky burglar. A burglar rubber run. But a burger rubber run. The rubber 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 is a rack of odds because they had a rack of robberies. They was doing that motherfucker. Allegedly. They was doing that motherfucker. They take your shit, melt your shit, and sell it. Allegedly. That's how you know that nigga wasn't from here. No, no nigga in the DMV not steal no motherfucking gold, melt it down, and sell it. Don't no nigga in the DMV know where to take no motherfucking gold and get no motherfucking three, four hundred thousand from. That was some Maryland, Idaho, and Co that was some out of town and shit. Like, that was some, man, this ain't the town. Fuck out of here. We grew up in Southeast. There's no Southeast nigga not a melt gold. I don't give a fuck who he is. Southeast niggas don't even know what the fuck real gold is. Like, we think we know. We don't really know. That wasn't no DC shit. That's how you know he wasn't from here. That nigga was an out of town. That nigga had an out of town of mind with an in town of brain and with an in town of game. Cause I swear to God, it ain't no nigga in my neighborhood. Ain't no nigga I was from the school with. No nigga that I grew up with know how to go on a move, steal it, and melt the motherfucking shit down and go. Well, he don't. Niggas don't know how to do that shit. Niggas just learn how to cook eight balls and shit out the high school. Niggas don't know how to melt the motherfucking gold. Nigga make a motherfucking ghost gun, though. A nigga, like, a nigga in the hood might make a ghost gun before he melt down some motherfucking gold. A nigga make 17 ghost guns in 45 minutes before he melt some gold. He ain't melt the motherfucking gold. So that's in gold and rainbows, clothes and balloons. Ain't no motherfucking gold getting melted down over here. That was some out of town shit. That's how I knew he went from here. His charges. He was the first nigga in D.C. history that ever got locked up by the Secret Service and he got charged with robbery of melting down gold. That ain't no D.C. nigga charges. Oh, my grandmother, I ain't never seen no nigga with them charges. First of all, I ain't never seen a nigga get locked up by the Secret Service. <laughs> D.C. niggas don't get locked up by the Secret Service. I'm just saying, like, real D.C. niggas does not go to jail by the Secret Service. First of all, we don't even know what the Secret Service can lock you up. We thought that was, like, some terrorist shit. Like, we don't know he the first nigga that ever got them charges. We don't know that shit. That's how you know he ain't from here. I don't mean nothing, but like, I don't know how much time you get for that shit. Like, I couldn't even tell you how much time you get for that shit. Nobody never went to jail for it. Don't you know how you go to jail and you ask a nigga like, yeah, bro, what you think they gonna do with me? Like, they don't know. Nobody in here locked up for that shit but you. Like, you the only nigga in the jail facility in the last 36 years that got locked up for melting gold. It's you and another nigga. That other nigga was a motherf uh, motherfucking, uh, was the nigga who stole the gold from the Titanic. The fuck something? That was the nigga from the Titanic. They don't even know how much time you about to get. The lawyers don't even know how much time you about to get. They ain't never helped the nigga who melted down gold. Fuck you talking about. The judge don't even know how much time to get you. They ain't never seen a nigga melted down gold. They don't even know how big of a threat you is to the community. I'm just here to tell you. They don't even know how much time to get you. So guess what? They'll give you all of it. <laughs> they don't even know how much time to get you. Fucking give them everything. <laughs> That nigga was different. 
Tyler Mary was really different. Man, we don't know what to give him. Fuck it. Give him everything. <laughs> they will give his ass everything except parole. <laughs> Nigga went from Glizzy Gang to Gridiron Gang. What the fuck? I'm not a gang member. I'm not active. I'm a civilian. My shit went from Glizzy Gang to No Gang to Mama Son to YouTuber. His shit went from Good game to grid eye game. Fuck no. This nigga's a fucking gang member. This nigga's an active gang member. <laughs> he got locked up by the gang task force. <laughs> they said, man, we don't know what to give him. Give his ass everything but parole. <laughs> and don't you know everybody else should be like, United States government versus Anthony Evans or United States government versus you. Do y'all not know Taliban should say United States Secret Service? <laughs> they gonna put his ass on the grilled barbecue sauce, cornbread, and ketchup for his glizzy. His ass will get cooked like a cookout. Do you not know he the first nigga to do your homework and to do his different? Well, they gonna say United States Secret Service versus Tyler Man, Glizzy. Whoa. That name alone, like, that shit alone is a lot of time. Like, niggas should be like such and such versus Washington, one of the state of the United States of America. Said, that joke will say Tyler Man, Glizzy versus the Secret Service. So, whoa. That's some terrorism shit. Don't it? Tyler Man, Glizzy versus the Secret Service. Don't it sound like the White House about to go to trial with, like, Saddam Hussein and them? Like, why does it, that just sound like Saddam and them on trial at the White House? Don't it? United States Secret Service versus Taliban. Whoa, that is deep. That's a deep joke. Just the name alone, just the title. You only got to read the paperwork. But look, though, you think just the name will fuck up. Like, you just read the name. You think, like, man, it can't get no worse than that. You start getting into that shit. Nigga got caught in the Uber with four girls, and he got other 20 other niggas locked up. They was melting gold, allegedly. I'm talking about lots, lots of gold. I'm talking about million dollar moves. I'm talking about get down, lay down, give me that shit, take that shit, and melt this shit down, cuz. Hey, how much you got for this, cuz? All right, let me get that, cuz. Sell that shit, cuz. Damn, cuz. Judge don't need not much time to give him. They gonna give his ass everything to sell for parole. <laughs> No, nah, all jokes aside, I see why Shaq really say don't put him in that shit. Nah, don't put him in that shit. Shaq say fuck that. If you ain't see a nigga four foot eleven hopping over a counter, don't put me in that shit. I feel you though, cuz. I wonder why. Hey, nah, look though. So Shaq, like, what's up with that jury and shit? Huh, 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 huh. If Tyler Man is still in jury, melting it down. Some weird shit going on. I feel you.